live on the streets of Ferguson in uh, St. Louis there. As you can see, a few people already gathered on the streets awaiting the verdict of the grand jury. Um, they have been debating, looking at the uh, circumstances of this case for the last few weeks, uh, and uh, they came to a decision, we understand, earlier today as to whether or not um, the uh, police officer should be prosecuted or face trial, uh, and it's the state prosecutor who will make that announcement, we understand, in the next few hours or so. Uh, let's go to our correspondent, Regina Vadianathan, who is live in Ferguson on the streets there. Regina, over to you. Well, the crowds have been building up. There are more than 50 people who have gathered here. They're protesting. They're chanting, hands up, don't shoot, um, even before any decision has come out. And many here that I've spoken to are quite pessimistic about the outcome in their mind. Uh, they want to see Darren Wilson charged with uh, murder or manslaughter, but they don't think he will. Of course, Darren Wilson's supporters believe that he should be exonerated and that he acted in self-defence. But uh, as I say, Clive, the crowds are gathering now ahead of that decision. I'm actually joined by one of Michael Brown's cousins, uh, Sabrina Webb. Sabrina, thanks for joining us on BBC News. Um, Sabrina, tell us how you and your family are feeling ahead of this decision. Right now, we're feeling overwhelmed. Um, it's a lot of anxiety. There's a lot built up. We just want the best outcome, like anyone else. But of course, this is the justice system. This is America. So it could lean either way. And are you getting in any indications about which way it might go? Has the family been told anything? No, we're about as clueless as everyone else. We're just searching for answers. We're just looking out to see what it may possibly be. But at the same time, we don't know either. Your uncle and indeed other members of the family have called for calm once that decision is announced, whichever way it goes. Um, do you think it's going to be peaceful? I've spoken to some protesters here who are predicting violence. I mean, at this point, you can't predict either side. Of course, we want the calm and the peace, and that's what we keep screaming out to the top of our lungs. But this is America once again, and everyone has their own opinion, and everyone reacts to situations differently. So there is no telling at this point. Your uncle said at the weekend, uh, Michael Brown Sr., that he didn't want his son's death to be in vain. Um, what do you hope can come out of this, out of the international attention that people have put on Ferguson? I just hope that everyone realizes that this is the start of a new change. This is the eye opener. This is what everyone has been waiting for. So if you really are down for what you say you are down for, then this is the time to prove it. Not saying you have to get out here and do crazy stuff, but just come out here and support us like everyone else. We appreciate it across the world. It's people that I don't even know that are out here, and that's what really hits my heart. And just one quick question. This all started because of the death of your cousin. Just tell us uh, a little bit about your cousin. I mean, what would he be thinking if he knew that all these people were out protesting in, <laughs> in his, in his honour? Man, Mike will be, he'll be astounded. He'll be shocked because he wouldn't expect this much attention. But he did want his name to be heard, and that was only through music. And now he's being heard because, of course, he had to get slayed by this crazy man, but at the same time, it's now, in a sense, an eye opening. It's a sense of relief because we now know that we can stand up for what we want to believe in, and we don't have to be afraid to stand up for it. So it's a sad situation that it happened, but in the end, everyone will now know that Ferguson, St. Louis, individuals, humans in general are not afraid anymore. And do you find that, I mean, there have been some accusations that the police have been heavy-handed in the way that they stop and search people here in this area. Is that something you and your friends find? I mean, yes. I mean, this has been going on for years. But now it's getting even more extreme because they feel that their lives are threatened. But once again, how can your lives be threatened by people that don't even have weapons? You all have all the artillery that you need. So just because we are out marching and we come in groups, that should not deter you from what you're coming out here to do. If you're coming out here just to secure and make sure nothing's going to happen, then do that. But don't use excessive force on young kids or teenagers. Okay, thank you so much, Sabrina Webb. Well, that's the view from the Brown family. Of course, Darren Wilson supporters believe that he uh, fired that shot in self-defense, or he fired the gun in self-defense, and hope that he is cleared. The giant grand jury will, in a few hours, uh, reveal the decision that they have come to as to whether or not he should face charges.
All right. Regini, many thanks for that. Regini Vadinathan live in Ferguson in St. Louis there. Thank you. The US